Greetings, Crad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to program up to four page files with the new Overready Boss version 5.1 firmware update. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to lux-rc.com. Go to where it says NXS and click on NXS R1 Setup. That'll take you to this screen. With the page files, you can have it selected for a 4 plus 4 setup or for an 8 mode setup. We're going to talk about the 4 plus 4 first, and that's the way that the legacy version 5.0 software functioned. It gives you four modes with a single cell, four modes with two cells, hence the four plus four. So let's go ahead and set it up the way that we want it to operate on a single cell. You can either click in the box and scroll to select an option. Let's start it in red. Let's say that we want a really low moonlight mode as our second mode. Let's say maybe 20 we think is a good uh, third mode. And then let's say we want the highest that it can do in a single cell configuration, which is 74% mode 31. Now let's scroll down to two in a series. Maybe we want it to start up in mode two. And then we wanna to go to afterburner mode 33, 100% output. And then let's do a custom signal. So you can do one red flash, two red flashes, one white flash, two white flashes. Let's say we want it to flash white twice, uh, 64 milliseconds, off time 32 milliseconds, sure. So we've got our custom signal there, and then we'll do our final mode of strobe. Now we get into some additional configurations here. So you can do no memory, which is the way it's gonna come to you. Um, every time that you turn it off and you get to turn it back on, you're gonna start back at your first mode. So in this case with two cells, mode two here. You have standard memory where every time that you turn the light on, it's gonna be in the last mode that it was in. And as you start cycling, it's going to cycle logically through the modes that you have configured. This is my personal favorite, hybrid memory. So say you're out for a walk at night, you select an output level that you think is perfect. It allows you to see where you're going, uh, maybe light up around a corner to see if anyone's there, or light up a bush and see what's rustling the leaves. So you've got your perfect level of output selected, but when you start cycling, you want it to start back at the beginning. So it's going to start back here at mode two, then go to afterburner, so on. Then you have lithium ion battery protection. I like to leave that active. You can turn it off, uh, use precaution because you're not going to have the flashlight ensuring that you don't over discharge your cells. Battery stretch, basically as the voltage of your cells begins to decrease with usage, it's going to decrease your maximum output and it's going to give you a longer runtime on those cells before you have to recharge them. If you turn it off, then once you drop to a certain voltage, the light's just going to turn off. Um, it's not going to gradually dim on you just going to be off. Lastly, we get to bounce protection. So you can either choose to not change the current configuration for the bounce protection. You can turn bounce protection off or you can set bounce protection. Um, so what this is going to do is as you use the light, if it senses too much light bouncing back at the LEDs, it's going to turn on bounce protection, which is going to put it into a red mode. So it's kind of a way to get an extra mode, right? If you've got these four modes here, notice none of these are red mode. Well, if I have bounce protection turned on, I palm the flashlight and I turn it on and it's gonna kick to red. So it's kind of like I've got five modes or if this was an A mode configuration, I could have nine modes. Um, as far as the exact setting that you should use, uh, that might be something you want to play around with. Maybe you find that when you palm the flashlight, it's not clicking to red. So maybe you need to increase the sensitivity by changing this to a lower number. Or you find that it's actually too sensitive and it's clicking to red just by turning it on in one of the higher modes. So maybe decrease that sensitivity by uh, raising this number. So next, we'll click Save and Program. Uh, you can either choose to program it right now from the website or you can download it as a video if you want to have that video available to you in the future to make um, configuration changes. So if you actually want to download that, just go right here, click on download. 
what we're going to do is queue this up and leave it there until we're ready. So I've got four tabs open along the top here. Each one of these tabs is the exact same page we looked at. So you can prepare to program up to all four of your page files um, so that I don't bore you to death. We're just going to do two today. So what you need to know about this website is it's built for an older version of the firmware that doesn't affect your ability to program in eight mode. Um, you're just essentially going to ignore these cell configurations, right? So pay attention to these when you're programming in four plus four, but if you're programming in eight mode, uh, you're just going to ignore these. Treat these two rows as all eight modes. So here we're just going to go with what I've already got set up. 1, 9, 13, 16, 18, uh, 20, and then afterburner. I've got the final mode of strobe. Let's say you only want seven modes. Let's turn that off. You don't have to use all eight modes if you don't want to. Save and program. Download as a video. get this queued up and now we're ready to begin programming. Now we're going to program the light. I apologize for the glare on the screen. First thing we're going to want to do is verify which page file mode that we're on. So one, two, three, four. You saw one red flash. That means I'm on page file one. That's exactly where I want to be. If you're not on the page file that you want to be on, just let it cycle and you'll get there. Next up, let's make sure that we're in four plus four mode because that's how we set it up, right? So if we're in eight mode, it's gonna go through what we had set up for single cell and then start up on what we had set for two cell mode. That's not what we want it to do. So we're gonna enter the three, three, four pin. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and on. So I'm getting white flashes. That means we're in four plus four mode. So let's go ahead and program it. Now there's two pins that you can use to get into programming mode. Totally up to you which one you want to use. I'll show you both of them. The first one's going to be the 112 pin. 1, 1, 1, 2, on. You'll see that red light there. It'll start to flicker. Then we'll know that it's ready to take the load. Hit play. the programming took, you'll see that red light has extinguished. You can click the light off, test it out. So we have our configuration for two cells that we set up for four plus four mode. Uh, let's switch to page file two. So one, two, three, four, on. So two red flashes, we're now on page file two. Uh, enter programming mode. This time we're going to use the 222 pin. 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, on. You got your red light. It's going into programming mode. We're going to select our second video. Hold the light up to the screen. Hit play. Verify that that light has extinguished. Something that we didn't do was verify that page file two is in eight mode. Um, that's not an issue. You can cycle between those modes at any time. So we're gonna do that now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, on. So we've got white flashes, meaning we're in uh, four plus four. We wanna be in eight, so Let's do that one more time. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. On. So we've got red flashes. We're in eight mode. It's where we want to be based on the configuration that we just set up. So 
We've got all of our modes available. And if you wanted to continue on and program page file three, page file four, you now have the information that you need to accomplish that task. Thanks for watching.